What's up my pony loves, this is Andy Paul's Andy Vlogs doing a tutorial here for the Google Nexus 7. We're going to teach you how to pair a keyboard uh, to the device via Bluetooth and also I'll show you some cool quick, uh, quick tips and keystrokes that you can use to navigate with the tablet. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to turn on Bluetooth. I've got a little widget here that helps you do that. Uh, if not, you can just swipe this area right here. It'll bring down a whole bunch of settings and you click on Bluetooth right there and you can hit on. Now it automatically searches for any available devices. At this point you go ahead and turn on your keyboard and you need to hit connect on the back. That'll reset any previous uh, connections or whatever that it may have been and you'll see that the Bluetooth will kind of flash as well as the light will go on. Now we'll hit search again and it should find it. There we go. You tap it and it'll bring up a pairing request with which you type the code there and then hit enter to connect. Now this code is unique each time you unpair and repair it. Um, so it doesn't really matter that you see that code because it won't do much. So now I am uh, currently connected with this keyboard. This is the Logitech model. You can get on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description of it. I think it's really good. It's nifty and it's uh, supported by uh, most Android versions. Uh, I'm currently running 4.1.1 um, which is nice and there's a cool there's some great features here. So once you've got it um, paired you can use the key, arrow keys here to navigate um, on the available areas by hitting enter you execute most things you can hit back to go back or home to bring you to the home page, this is my home page I'll go over here home, it'll bring you home um, as you can see the arrow keys will, will um, proceed you to the previous or the next app depending on which button you hit it's pretty easy pressing over a couple more times to the right will bring you to this toolbar here, this area um, and Hitting this button down here gives you your settings, whether you're on the home page or if you're in an app. I'll go to the uh, Google Chrome. Just a second. Chrome. You hit that and it'll bring you to your settings. Back button will bring you back. Now, I want to show you some cool quick tips here. Um, some of the more obvious tips here, if you hit search, it'll uh, directly bring your cursor to the search or the URL bar. You can go to google.com, um, which is nice, brings it up. Uh, you can hit uh, obviously back to go back. Now, um, I'm I like to do the quick keys or the uh, um, whatever they're called, the, the shortcuts, um, and it's really cool because this Google Chrome, from what I understand, has the same code as the Chrome on your browser and so the same uh, hotkeys will work. So for instance if you want to open a new tab you should control T. Boom and open a new tab and you can go to like Yahoo or whatever. Um, also if you want to uh, thumb through your tabs I'll open a bunch here. If you hit control tab as you can see my fingers here it'll uh, proceed you to the next tab uh, again, um, giving you a nice little shortcut there. If you hit Control Shift Tab, it'll bring you back. Um, and then my favorite is uh, Control W, which kills the tab. You can see it's it's killing each tab. There are also a lot of other different um, hotkeys. I won't go into them. Um, specific for Chrome. Um, now I wanted to zoom in and show you some more other cool features here on this uh, with this uh, keyboard so um, I'm gonna go in and hit home it'll bring me back to my home page and let's go to um, the Google Play Store and then let's go you know, back whatever blah 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 I'm not trying to uh, sponsor anything here but uh, you go home let's say we go home and you're like shoot I wanna go back to Google Chrome um, I like this multiple windows bar, but what do I hit? Well, as you would in Windows, 
uh, to thumb from different programs, you hit Alt Tab. You hold Alt and hit Tab, and it'll actually bring up your most recent activity. So you can see I've got quite a few things here that I've used recently. Uh, I've got Play Store. You hit Tab again, and it'll bring you to Chrome. Um, the Play Music, Music, Google Music. You know my banking, Mint, Task Killer, etc. And you keep, and it'll thumb you through the most recent eight, which is really cool. Um, I think that's a really cool little perk there. I'll hit home. If you hit um, the search magnifying glass on your keyboard, it'll bring you to Google Now, which is pretty cool. I'll hit home. And then another cool feature is some of the function, the added functions to this uh, keyboard. At the very top, you can see on the number row, um, from numbers 1 to 9, and then plus and enter, you'll see that there's some blue um, function, functional things, sorry for the shakiness, but I want to show you some of the cool things that it does. So if I hit uh, control 3, or excuse me, FN3, it'll bring up my mail. If you hit FN4, it should bring you to the internet, but since there's no native Android internet, it uses Google Chrome, it's not going to work. I don't know how to work it. If you know how to, tell me in the, uh, the comments below. But uh, 5 will bring you to your calendar. As you can see here, it's bringing up my calendar. 6 will bring up Google Music. And then seven are features for music, where you can go previous, previous track, play, for to track, and then there's your different volume buttons. I'll show you here. We'll go like this, and we will turn the volume down and up, so you don't have to hit the uh, side buttons. Now there isn't a sleep. A function, unfortunately, or to power down your um, device, but that's fine. Uh, but these are some of the cool little tips and tricks that I have found useful with this tablet. Um, also, let's go in. I wanted to show you something else. Let's go into a document. Um, I hope I have Quick Office on here. I think I do. Yeah. We'll open a document here. I'll use the keyboard for the convenience. Quick word. And let's say you want to, uh, you know, copy and paste something from a document that you have uh, to a new Word document. Um, I won't grab a document or whatever, but the the copy and paste quick keys or hot keys work as well. So let's just type here. No, not search. Oops. Ah. There's my cursor. So I'll just type blah 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 blah. Enter blah blah blah. Okay. So um hopefully this works and I'll get see if I can make it more clear so you can see. So I just typed random right there. Um you can hit control A. That didn't work. Maybe it doesn't work in Quick Office. But if you hold Shift and then use the arrow keys, you can select like you would in a regular document. Control C will copy it, and then let's hit Control V and we'll paste it. See? So it works. Copy and paste, and that's terrific for uh, any of your other stuff. So we'll highlight everything here. Let's get our cursor back there. It works in like Evernote. I don't usually use Quick Office. I only use it for displaying stuff, but that's how you do it. Um, there, you, there you have it. There's my tutorial on how you pair a Logitech keyboard to the Google Nexus 7. Hit like if you like. Subscribe if you want to see more. This is Andy Plaza, Andy Vlog, signing out. Woo.